On today's episode of Warehouse Safety Tips, we're going to be talking about staying cool in the heat in factories and warehouses. So stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. If you're a seasoned vodcast viewer, this vodcast is going to be different from most that you watch. It's based around exactly what the name implies, Warehouse Safety Tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money, so each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now, with all that out of the way, let's get to the vodcast. Whew, it is hot out there, and it's that reason that we're having this particular topic here on Warehouse Safety Tips. You have to stay cool in factories and warehouses during the heat. Now, it doesn't matter if you work outdoors or if you're working inside, staying cool is of the utmost importance. So we have a couple things that we'd like to talk to you about. Uh, this is by no means the end all list, but it'll be a great place to get started. One of the very first things that we wanna to talk to you about is ventilation. Making sure that your facility is well ventilated to where you're sucking out as much heat as you possibly can within uh, all the parameters of your particular facility. Uh, the next thing is going to be work times. If at all possible, if you can work in the early morning or the uh, later evening hours to get your jobs done, that is going to be the times that, especially outdoors, things are going to be much cooler and indoors as well. Uh, and that's if possible. The next thing is going to be hydration stations. Make sure that you stay hydrated, whether that is drinking fountains or uh, if there's things like electrolytes and things uh, that your facility has provided, take part in them. Even if you don't think that you're necessarily thirsty, stay hydrated and make sure that you always have uh, a good amount of hydration in your body. Next is gonna be wearing cool apparel. That could be things like bandanas, vests, things that you can soak in water uh, if, if your facility allows it to stay uh, cool and, and have that um, uh, cool barrier on your neck, hands, and body if applicable. Uh, the next is gonna be cool areas. If you work outside, that may be going into the shade. If you work inside and you're in a uh, heat area, that might be going to a break room or lunch area where it's air conditioned and you can uh, get in from the heat. Uh, next is gonna be heat sources. If there are particular machines that stay uh, warmer during production or um, you might possibly be in a foundry uh, that you know you can't avoid the heat. But if you can identify heat sources and avoid those at all costs during only times that they're needed, that's gonna be another way to stay cool. Another thing is going to be dress code. If you work in an area, either outside or indoors, where you can wear shorts, uh, maybe short sleeves, uh, things that are going to make things cooler, if applicable, that'd be a great way to go through and kind of have a laxed uh, dress code during those times when it's really, really hot, but staying within any sort of uh, regulations that you have. And then the last thing is always something that we talk about, and it's going to be a, a regular topic, and that is training. Make sure that your staff knows the um, signs of heat stroke, heat exhaustion. Make sure that your safety staff is going around and looking for the things that we just discussed and other things as well. And just making sure that you know the signs and you know the things that you need to look for when it's um, very hot and, and you need to take care of that. So one last thing that we want to talk about is PPE. Now, when you have uh, PPE in the form of glasses or hard hats, even vests and gloves, um, when it's warm and hot, uh, taking those off or, or doing this, you know, to get the sweat out of your eyes or taking your hat off because it's so hot, that is the time when danger can strike. So make sure that even though you're hot, you don't take off those PPE items until you're in an area where it's safe to do so because it's that moment when you say, I've done it a thousand times, but it, it's never been an issue until now that things happen. So make sure that you always, always, always have that PPE on in those areas uh, that they're designated to have it on when it's needed. Because again, you're not fooling anybody. If you think that nobody sees you do it, it's that time that sometimes 
sometimes uh, disaster can strike. So make sure you keep your PPE on. And guys, thank you very much for being part of another episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. Until we talk to you next week, stay cool, stay safe, and here is a word from one of our sponsors. It's scientifically unexplainable. It's virtually indestructible. And it's taking over the entire planet. But in a really good way. It's Mighty Line Floor Tape, the most durable floor tape in the world. Seven times thicker than average floor tape. Beveled to endure pounding warehouse traffic. And backed with a super strong peel and stick adhesive, so you'll never have to worry about painting shop floors again. Mighty Line Floor Tape, the only durable stripe.